Hi Thrifty Beauty Review viewers. We're going to bring you a review today on the KISS Marbleizing Pin and Polish Set. They come in two different colors. There is a purple set which comes with a, a pink pearlized color, a purple pearlized color, and a purple glitter. And that is set 58084 or MBL02W. The second set available is the pink set. It comes with a very just um, magenta. Sorry, I was trying to think of the word. Magenta pink. There's like a cotton candy pink, and there's a white. And this is set 58083 or MBL01W. Now, I had searched YouTube before I decided to do this review, and I only had this one at that point. And when I searched YouTube, I seen another review, and it was just for the purple one. I couldn't find a review for the pink one. But the purple one that I seen was very ill-informed, as well as almost ununderstandable, if that makes sense. She, the reviewer, I won't mention names, um... Obviously didn't follow instructions. I've read some of their comments. People weren't very happy with them not following instructions. But I thought we could definitely do a better marble effect than what was coming out in another review video. So, without further ado, let's start with the purple since it was on the other video and they complained about how difficult the purple was. So let's go. You could have polished it. The other end is a pin tip, very fine with a little needle point. You also got your instructions, and they tell you exactly what to do. They tell you to work with only one nail at a time. And you do not need to wait until polish is dry to continue in because it won't work if the polish is dry. So it tells you it's three easy steps polish, dot, and swirl. So, once you get as far as the polish in itself, you have this, get this color too, because it's not white. It's like a iridescent pink shimmer, as you can see there. And probably the easiest way to show you that would be, as you can see, that iridescent pink shimmer. There we go. So not really white so that's going to cause a problem because we already know this is not going to overpower the dark color I can see where that could be a problem Okay. again very very fine tip pin and if you look down there you can see it's a very very fine tip hole and just the gravity of moving that around is starting to make some of that come up so that's why we're using a paper towel here yeah. All right. So you have these three colors. And we have some basic practice nails here. Now I have decided we're going to start out with a base coat of this color, which the, another thing is the colors are not named. I do have a good stand so that they can stand alone. Okay, I will be right back. Alright. Now what we're going to do, as per instructed, pop the cap off and make some dots. Now honestly, this color is almost the same. So we've made some dots. Back with the last color, the darker color. And it says just make some dots within these dots. So now it looks like a speckled mess. And then, 
place to go through here and draw through it to get a more old effect. And there's what we come up with. To me, that looks very marbled. I don't see a problem with the purple kit. And you see the three colors we have here. I am going to start with the mid color and go from that one. Here's our nail. Go ahead and move that back. And this color is a very cotton candy pink. going to come in for our drops as it has a pointed for the marbling technique. We're going to go with as it lets us choose. We're going to do mine in the white. Now we're going to come back in. And just put some of the darker pink. They don't have to be on that. You can do these any way you like them. That's the point. Alright, now I'm going to show you the technique. There really isn't one. You don't want to drag it against the nail. You're floating it, the little tip on here. Because if you drag it against the nail, you're going to create the little scrapes and instead of the marbling. You're going to scrape off polish, not marble it. And as you can see, with a light drag, in whatever direction you want to go, that marbling is working just fine. Wipe off your tip every few. And drag it around. And as you can see where I've done, it looks just like a really good marbling effect. Let me get that focus. Okay. Now I'm going to show you why you don't push too hard against the nail with this. Let me hold it so I can push hard. And you see that? You're just going to scrape the polish right off. That was the whole point. Did that on purpose for you guys. Now if you accidentally do it, you can just work in some of the swirl back. Maybe take some of your darker colors and pull it through. And if you put off a lot of that, you can easily come back in with whatever color you've taken a lot out of and just swirl it back in. But it still left a very good swirl pattern. Now, so that we don't do the video too long, I'm going to pull off this one down here below. Now we don't have black, I don't know why it shows us, but because we have the two kits, we're going to show you what buying both of them combined can help do. So, we're going to paint the initial nail the lightest color in the purple. Which is like a very soft pink shimmer. It's not really purple. 
I guess it has some little pieces of purple iridescent glitter, but it's super micro. Okay. And we are going to do a combination, sorry that my hand ran away, of the purple. And we're just blotting this on in little lines. And I'm going to come back in with a heavy white. And I guess you can say it's kind of like a zebra pattern here. A really messy zebra pattern. But now you can see this. So what I'm going to do is come through and just pull those lines back and forth lightly. Excess polish can get wiped off. And what you're left with on the nail is just this amazing marbling design. Now you could probably come back in through here and pull in some side designs so that that one in the center there, that really nice rope effect stays. pushing that out of the view. And we didn't go all the way to the top. Okay, let me cap that and show you exactly how that turned out. You have multiple layers of marbling. There we go. You have the side marble and then you have the cane marble. It's more of the side marble. We went back to that first nail, and you can see how beautiful that marble turned out. And even there, after we messed up on purpose, the marble turned out nicely. So, all in all, the kits do run um, just under $7, so it's a little more than $3. It, it runs about $3.40 of polish, which isn't bad for the good tips and the other tips. And as you can see how well they work together, they work pretty well. They do have a little bit drawer, slower drying time, but that is because of the, the kit itself. You need it wet to work with it properly. But I definitely would give this a buy. It's not a bad product, as some people have stated. And you can, you know, I, I'm, I'm not polishing and cutting, you guys seen firsthand. These actually are not very hard to work with. So, you know, it's obviously up to your opinion, but if you've wanted to try marbling and you don't feel like trying to get out tape and water marble and all that mess, because I absolutely hate doing that, then this is absolutely a good alternative. So, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, subscribe! Hi Thrifty Beauty viewers, today we're bringing you a review